System Shock was released in September 1994 and went on to inspire many other games such as Bioshock and Deus Ex. I completed Bioshock Infinite yesterday and my god, it is brilliant. System Shock is unique due to the RNG puzzles and codes, meaning you can't go around looking things up on Google if you get confused. The entire game takes place on the Citadel, which is a space station run by Shodan. She's an AI and you were actually the idiot who removed the restraints on her. The codes and puzzles are used to open up new areas, so I'd recommend writing them down. Another neat thing is that everything besides the music is diegetic, including the UI. In the beginning of the game you have no HUD, but through plugging in different cybernetics you gain a map and a health bar. You pick up more cybernetics as you progress, and even get your hands on some sweet rocket boots. Oh baby, I got the Jordans. The gunplay in this game is satisfying, and there's a solid variety of guns to fuck around with. The story is mostly told through audio logs, so it's up to you, the player, to piece everything together. Audio logs are used to deliver information to the player on their objectives. There's no marker telling you where to go, so you must pay attention to what's going on. There are lots of enemies, all of which have different weaknesses worth learning about, since your resources are limited. The boss fights in this game are solid, and they're pretty tough if you're not prepared for them, but if you have enough EMPs, you'll be fine. Here's some things that I don't like about System Shock. Cyberspace, because the way you move in there hurts my head, and it looks like the original Tron, which hurts my eyes. You also don't really feel anything when you shoot enemies. You have limited inventory space, but luckily there are these storage containers that you can put things in, but oh wait, they're fucking tiny! I had to just put my stuff on the floor in the end. This game has no hand-holding, it's part of what makes it so fun to complete. If you're willing to sit down and just bang this out in one session, I guarantee, it will be one of the most entertaining and immersive gaming experiences that you'll ever have.